Today's World Watch is sponsored by Summit Ministries. Experience a summer of growth, form lifelong friendships, and confidently engage culture. Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 16th. A quick caution today. Our second story includes difficult images of suffering. Well, thanks for joining us today for Top Story. Check out the full World Watch Show 2. Along with other news, we're talking about finding big waves and losing mascots. Now, here's Top Story. For three consecutive years, countries on the Horn of Africa have been plagued by little to no rain, resulting in the driest conditions since 1981. This is Ethiopia today. Dust swirls across dry, cracked land, streams are dried up, and livestock need help standing if they're still alive. A severe drought affecting up to 13 million people. Southern Ethiopia, northern Kenya and Somalia are impacted, livestock are dying, crops are failing and populations are being forced from their homes. It's not expected to get better anytime soon. Forecasts show below average rainfall persisting in the coming months and conflict is making matters worse. Fighting broke out in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region more than a year ago. It's since spilled into other parts of the country. Hunger is the most immediate and visible impact of a compounding crisis. Millions facing acute malnutrition, especially kids, but families face other long-term effects, one being children missing out on education. The impact of children not going to school I mean, is, is so clear. I mean, we, we lose generations. Generations of educated future citizens. Aid groups worry that if water, food, and other assistance isn't delivered to the region soon, the world could witness a humanitarian catastrophe. Take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel, then make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You'll be able to try out that show free for a month. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.